Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have Kickstarter goodness. Again, we have Reichbusters Project Vril brought to you by Mythic Games. Now I backed this, this Kickstarter and there are a tremendous amount of uh, materials that came along with it. Those will be shown on additional videos that I'll be posting to the page as well. But uh, this is the core box of the game that you will need to use uh, for all the other expansions as well. So the, the none of them are standalone. This is the core box you must start with. So again, we have Reichbusters Project Vril by Mythic Games. This is a ginormous box and it's a very, very heavy, heavy, heavy box. Just kind of showing you around the box a little bit here. Nothing much other than beautiful artwork on the back of the box. This was released again in 2020 by Mythic Games. Okay. So there you have the core box. So let us, woo, you hear it, how heavy that box is. It's a heavy, heavy, heavy box. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. Got that vacuum seal, it feels like sometimes in there. And we start off right at the top there. We have the rules and we got a mission book and then we got a whole, whole bunch of stuff in this box. So sit back, relax, and uh, let me do the driving as they say for a little bit here. So here's the rule book. Again, we got your project. Uh, Reich Busters. Uh, okay, the world of Reich Busters gives you a little bit of background information about the game. Again, you got your content, your components, reference list, game overview. So let's take a look at this. Says, the players are an elite squad of allied heroes. Working together, they must raid a Nazi, a Nazi castle and find the secret laboratories and bunkers hidden within. They will need to sneak past the guards, achieve all of their mission objectives, and then at least one of them must escape in order to win. As this is a cooperative game, either all players win or all players lose together. All of the miniatures on the map are referred to as units. The players control the allied hero units. Enemy units are controlled by the game itself. Players take turns acting using basic actions, a hand of unique action cards, and a reserve of heroic points to, points to choose what their hero does. After each hero acts, the enemies react. Throughout the rules, you will con uh, occasionally see boxes like this one. These are not rules. Instead, they are a chance for me to explain some of the thinking and development processes behind the game and how to get the most out of it. Okay, that's good to know. And you got some awesome artwork here. The setup, the hero turn, the rounds and turns. You got designer note again. So your basic actions, there are seven basic actions to choose from. Move, attack, search, ready equipment, draw two cards, unlock, open doors, or recover. You've got tests that you have to pass. Again, more explanations. Designer note explaining it to you. You got special results on your dice. So you got attack, defense, noise, and vril. You got your type of test, your target, your results. This is a pretty hefty rule book, so I'm going to have to go through this uh, and watch a couple of videos before trying to play this game, it appears to me. So you got your heroic points. You got pacifier room. You got noise. Post alarm. During the alarm. Bang and booms. Really, really cool artwork. There's another piece of artwork that's really cool. You got using a flamethrower and torch and a bunch of these baddies. All right, description of the basic actions, what you can do when you move, when you uh, clear token, you attack, gives you examples of all that, gives you pictures of these, of how to do that. Okay, some more artwork. What you're gonna do when you search, ready equipment, draw two cards, unlock open doors, you're gonna recover. Your bonus actions, play action cards. You have free action, instant action, and you have modifiers. More notes from the designer. Give or drop an item, use an item. Captured heroes. Discarding and shuffling action icons. 
tiles, rooms, and corridors and areas. You've got tiles, rooms, corridors, it explains how to set them up, explains how they're used, what areas mean, things that you can't cross, three separate areas, breaking ties, who's nearest, who's adjacent, room features, line of sight and range, your front, your back, secret passages, range, examples of that, setting off the alarm, once the alarm triggers, if the alarm is triggered early, this happens, if it, once the alarm triggers, that happens, more designer notes, and some more really, really cool artwork down there, cool artwork, really the theme is very strong, very, very strong, oh, got someone here, get to know your enemies, spawning enemy units, designer notes, again, Shows you how to read the cards, your enemy patrols, your real overload. Let's see what we got here. Post alarm spawning. Levels of awareness. So again, this is a creeper. You want to go through this quietly so you don't attract too much attention to yourself. So it's a dungeon crawl again. It's an enemy turn. We've got a bunch of turns, actions, raise the alarm, action stations, kill the intruders, and check awareness. There you go, you got raise the alarms, action stations, designer note again. Again, showing you how cards are used, how the tokens are used, and guard points, and then kill the intruders. And then you got check awareness. You've got defense, two. End of round phase, end of game, it says. When playing Reich Busters, players will choose to play either a raid or a campaign mission. The scenario they choose to play will determine the conditions to achieve victory or to suffer a defeat. Go to, the, go to their mission book, which we'll look at next. And you got components, you got maps, you got large tiles, small tiles, you got all kinds of stuff in there. Okay, go, go through that. You got all kinds of different dice, you got map tokens, all kinds of stuff. Player tokens, action cards, all kinds of stuff that's included in the game. Spawn cards, wound cards, player dashboards, raid cards. Other kinds of cards, lots and car lots and lots of cards, lots and lots of miniatures are included in the game as well. Different items, lots of items, and all the items have different little icons on them, so you're gonna have to figure out what those mean. You got vril items, objective items. So you got a vril goggle, a vril healing potion, you got a vril injection, a vril orb, and a vril shield. Okay, we'll have to figure out what that means. Then, of course, you got your keywords and skills. More, again, more glossary here. More, 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 more. And, of course, at the end, you have your credits for all the great people who brought this game from Mythic Studios. So, rules-wise, I'd say you've got a total of 20 pages of rules. So, it's not too bad, not too rule-heavy, it seems. And once this is done on the back, you have your iconic um, iconography. So you have your dice icons, your token icons, your map icons, faction card icons, action card icons. So there's a lot of icons, as you can tell, in this game. So this is nice to have a chart where it kind of explains what all this stuff means ultimately. That's cool. So that is your rule book. Then you got your Reich Busters mission book. Missions, setting up heroes, completing a mission, victory or defeat. It says objective failed, all heroes are captured. Objective completed, no heroes captured. Objective completed, one or two heroes captured. Objective completed, three heroes captured. And that's how the board looks when it's set up. Setting up the map, playing with fewer than four players, setting up a raid mission. So raid mission is more the one-off, and then a campaign is obviously gaining skills and continuing on to the other missions. Designer notes again. Setting up a campaign mission is different than setting up a one-shot. After a campaign mission, purchasing skills, campaign difficulty, level zero, level one, two, three, so it just says here, level one, 
the narrative experience. Level one, easy does it. Level two, this means war. Level three, Reich way to play. So level three is the top version. Got it. Mission one, Operation Fidget. So it tells you up there what you need. Mission objectives, special rules, mission complete, and then how to set up the board. And all of them are set up the same way. Mission two, Reich man for the job. Again, you've got your mission two, everything you need. Mission objectives, special rules, and mission complete. And again, the setup of the board. Mission three did not see that did not see that coming. <laughs> That's cute. Mission objectives, special rules, mission complete, and of course the setup. Mission four, uh, altering the status quo. What you need, again, all your stuff, and of course you have your setup of the game board. Mission five, the cornered wolf. Again, everything is set up the same way for each of the missions. Mission six, out with a bang. Get your objectives, your rules, your campaign is complete, what you do next, and how to set up the board. So all the tokens and everything else on it. Raid set up, it's map time. Oof, uh, that's a big, big board right there. Raid set up land down under so you got raids and this one's called it's map time looks like using all the maps that you have all the... then you have take me to church and the final stage wow yeah in the back you have your faction cards and breakdown of all these and how to read them and what how they're used and all that stuff like that and of course your unit cards how they're used also so that is your mission book dice we've got lots and lots of dice i'm going to take out one of each because you can see the rest of them so it appears that all the dice are the same Meaning the green ones, they're all the same. The white ones, they're all the same. So you got it. You got a shield and a star, a blank, a shield, a blank, three shields, two shields, and a blank. That's your green die and your white die. Looks like a noise and that star. Three noise, two noise. So it looks like to me this might be a noise die or a signal die of some sort. That's what it looks like there. So you want getting f five of the white die and five of the green die. And they're all six side die. There you go. And then you've got some more different kinds of dice. You've got three red ones. Again, in the rule book, it explains to you which die you use for what purpose. So you get three red. The red are all the same. You got three of those symbols on there. Got that symbol. Got nothing. Got one, two, three. Looks like someone's aggravated there. Looks, looks like, like lightning bolts going to someone's head. So it looks like they're really charged up. Get it? Lightning bolt charged. Get it? I got it. And then there's a blank. So there you go. That's the red dice. And you have a black one. The black one have stars on it. So I got three stars two stars, one star, and you've got that star with that icon in the middle of it. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of those die. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, you get eight, sorry. I count the one I had in my hand twice. So you get eight black die and three red. You get five green and five white. So those are your dice that you need to be rolling. Find successes. All right. And we have cards upon cards upon cards upon cards. So I'm just kind of digging things out as we go along here. This is what you call a true unboxing. 
So let's take a look at this. Got the razor out there. Or, or, or this deck. Got it. Oh, sorry. Got it. Look at this deck. Gonna open up that deck. I'm going to open up this deck. But before we get to the cards, you have some tiles to go through first. So, looks like we have a tremendous, now when I say tremendous amount of cardboard, I mean, wow. So we're going to go through that first. Way too big to show you in front of the camera so now i see why there's so much weight in the box because there is so many punch out boards uh, yeah there's uh quite a few of them in here so you got your tokens in here and you've got your game boards in here so let's start doing it to it so let's take a look at the top one here so let's start at the bottom oh got upside down so that's not a good way to start Quick Shot Frenzy, Lone Wolf, Counters, Iron High, Decoy, Sneaky, Recon, Sleight of Hand. Got all kinds of weapons in there. You got a Noise Countdown Meter, obviously. You've got a Resilient, a Bitter Vengeance, and a Squad Leader, and you got Focused. They pop out very cleanly. They're nice and thick cardboard, which is good to see. And as I always say, if you can punch them out and you go back, back in, Makes it even better. And then you have one of your your terrain boards, your game board right there. Flip it over. So it looks like, yep. Okay, so it tells you different ways you can use it again. So the one side tells you to cut a weapon, then it says burst. It says burst, unreliable, precise, precise, accurate, precise. It says armor piercing, unreliable, precise. So again, all that stuff there. Quick shot, frenzy. Again, tracking the sound, and again, there's your T square. So that's one. That's one board of markers and stuff. Another noise one. Oh, turn around the right way. So we got a couple of noise markers here. Oh, death, death's head there. Okay, it's another one. Looks like you got some locks there. Got this thing up here. Opportunist, strong, stealthy, off Deutsch, die hard, Vril enhanced, deadly, fire support, guardian, Vril implants, Vril tolerance. You got these two little things in a, up here. Not sure what they are. But again, There they are. Okay, there's your tokens there again. That's board number two. Then we come across this one here, which is, appears to be the front. Oh, it's upside down. Oh. Got some German helmets here. It says no. Okay, no enter sign, right busters. All right. Got all this stuff here. Looks like walls. Then looks like all different kinds of gear that you can find around. Exclamation points. Flip those over. Again, it's going to tell you all the icons on here. You got some question marks. And you got different kinds of gear. Again, all the icons will be explained in the core rulebook. How to use those all. And it's got Probably just I'm thinking that's the toughness of the terrain. One, two, three. And then different types of agents that you might run into. Ones and twos appears. All right. So I'll put this back over here. That's three. And we have more of that same stuff. Another sheet of them. Flip them over again, more stuff. That you can collect more question marks more of those 
fires, I believe those are. So it's got a three and three, two and one. So you got that. And now you got, all right, so it says here, all right, right busters, it says entrance. Okay, some room tiles. Got some medi kits. All right, looks like there's an operating room of some sort or a morgue. You got these things. I'm gonna turn it over this way. Oh. And again, they're nice thick cardboard, but they are popping out as I'm holding them. I don't want to punch them out just quite yet. So everything fits. Oh, you got a general's office. It looks like there. Got a hallway. Got looks like a soldier in Target, maybe. Not sure what that means. Making noise, obviously, when shooting a gun. It says one. This is like benches and the orb. There's your med kits. All right, that's another one. Oh, we've got another entrance there, it says. Hallway. Looks like almost like a escape hatch with a boat there. Bunch of gear. Looks like bombs. And, and you have that guy again in the sight there, kind of. Again, not sure what that means. And it looks like smoke, maybe smoke grenade right there. I'm not sure. Oh, that looks like bullets flying. Again, hallway. There's another entrance that says two. It's got some gear, got a bed, got a table there, got some boxes. And here you got some, looks like something, not sure what that is, maybe grenades. It's a helmet there. And then you have this right here as well, which is another room. All right. Looks like a radio room, that one looked like. Okay, we got, what is that there? Oh, maybe Secret Passage. Okay. Looks like you got some A, B, and C, it says. Okay, flip that over. Got okay, some more hallways. Get those A, B, and C again. Maybe Toughness 3, maybe. It looks like a, either floor grate where you can climb into it, maybe. Like a laundry chute or something like that. Probably not a laundry chute, but you know what I'm saying. I got some more of them here, too. All right. Again. More hallways. That says to the exit. That's nice to see. Again, whenever you're doing these kinds of dungeon crawls, you want to try to get yourself up and out and be as quiet as possible and fight when you need to fight, And you, but you don't need to kill everything. That's the key to the game. Sometimes running and keep, you know, stick and move, stick and move. we got some beds there with some playing cards on them. Got a box down there you can search. Okay. Like some claw marks. Maybe that means gas grenade again. I'm not sure. Looks like smoke. Maybe smoke grenade. Yeah, maybe gas or smoke. Down here, got some more different icons for different supplies. And there it is again. Looks like you got keys and you got, looks like you got some medicine there, maybe. Again. The detail in the rooms are really, really good. So you gotta give them credit for that right off the bat. Really liking what I'm seeing there. Again, some hail of bullets, gunfire, again, claw marks. Again, more, looks like blocks of gold there. Some riches, yeah. And a hallway with carpeting. Very nice. Up again. Again, these are not these boards. I'll, pull, I'll pop one out. 
they're obviously not super thick, but they, they're not going to bend, but they, they're not the thickest of boards. They're not the same thickness as, say, a zombie side board. It's not. But again, these boards really, really pop. They really look really, really nice. I got to tell you. It's really well done. If I'm not mistaken, these boards kind of remind me of like a um, Mansions of Madness uh, type of thickness for the boards. So there it goes, pops right back in in place. Beautiful thing. And again, guns make noise. So sometimes using a bayonet to stab someone works out better for you than it would be for, um, you know, using a gun. Don't need to do that all the time. Again, you got the helmet there. Again, you have the gun, so, and you got the different rooms. Again, beautifully done in the hallway again. I like the colors that they've chosen for these these tiles. Oh, now this is a really big, this really big tile, so it's, it's feeling like the need to pop out. I, as I'm lifting it, I'm hearing them say, let me out of here. So there we are, we're going through this. Okay, and then you got some stars down here. Remember, we saw that on one of the die. So we got some more scratch marks here. Let's flip that over. Oh, you got an auditorium. Then you got, to, oh, these are all grenades. Potato mashers. Another set of keys there, a couple more sets. And that's a change. Right over there, okay. Oh, oh that's popping right out of there. That's why sometimes I prefer that when in a game, um, when you have terrain tiles like this, I like them to be a little thicker because they don't pop out of the, uh, they don't pop out as quickly, especially the heavier ones. The lighter ones, they're okay, but the heavier ones, they start popping out right away. Looks like some mission journals. Get more of those stars and more of those claw marks. Flip this over and again, there's the, Looks like they're melting down some of this gold. Yep. <laughs> Something weird is definitely happening here. More of those stars with the bigger, with smaller stars inside it. Okay, some claw marks. Again, over here you got some dynamite. Looks like dog bones. Ah, some masks. That's funny. So they don't recognize you. All right, looks like almost like a grand ballroom here. Or an altar of some kind. That's really cool too. And we got two more left. Again, more punch outs here. For med kits, and there's your, something was chained up down there, which is never a good thing when it's something that big and chained up. And then we got some battle doors that are really scraped up. If they're not doors, they may be floors that are really, really scratched up. Hmm. Again, claw marks. Again, you got more of those stars here again. It's over again. Now this has a star with an, uh, the white star in the middle, or an empty star, an empty shield. All right, some filled in stars, some empty stars, and you got some shield, empty shields. Okay. And then you've got again that looks like a ammo crate some oil drums and then that looks like i'm not sure what that is there okay again this looks like a meteor room where they're doing some typing taking some information down what's this here battle plans yeah papers all over the place so there you have it and last but not least, we've got this right here. Very, very nice. We've got some bombs. Not sure what that is there. We've got some of those guard helmets, the guys with helmets, German helmets. And you got the stars again and more scratches. And there you go. Again, I really like the colors that they chose for these punch-outs. They got a bunch of stars with the white shields in them. 
And then you got, again, more supply crates across the board. Not sure what that is. Maybe a painting? Not sure. I'm not sure what those three are there. I'm not sure at all. All right. So that's, that's a heck of a lot of cardboard that we just went through. And there they are. Okay, moving on, we've got decks of cards. Uh, these are your character cards, all right? So, uh, Gisela Gruber, and then it's Coward, Fresh Recruit, Stun, five with a weapon, five with a dagger, and a 10 defense. Got number one up top there, and let's see what it says down here. Brill Experiment, Brill Overload, Campaign Mission Four. So flip that over. Four soldiers. It says you're dug in, fresh recruits, stun. So looks like you've got two different. Ver you got two. Different, looks like you got two different versions of the same character on the card. Five five shield is ten. Five five shield is ten. I'm not sure. Okay. A real Panzer. Okay, this one here's got Brill Overload, the Armored Wolf, the Wolf Hunts, Hordmeister, Extreme Prejudice. It says Campaign Missions 4, 5, 6, and Project X it's used in. Okay, Armored. Okay, got it. And the different stats, uh, the different special abilities it has. Got it. Again, the Brill Panzer is the same one we just saw. Oh, this one here says again for 4, 5, and Project X. This is your Brill Panzer. 10, 8, 10. Oof. Tough one. Then you've got General Wolf, 6, 4, 14. Obviously, strong defense. Campaign Mission 5. And then extra powers it has. And same thing on this side here. Again, I'm not sure why they have, like, there's a red one and there's a one. Maybe if they get wounded, something changes about them. I'm not sure. It might be whether you're doing it solo, doing with multiplayers, whether it's a campaign or whether it's for uh, one-time solo shot play. I'm not sure. Again, we have some artwork here. Sturm Kanoner. Okay. There's his stat lines again. And then again, that one there. This is the, the Stern Angriff. Okay. Professor Markham. No weapons. No weapons. Got two defense. He has two wounds. He's an escort. All right. He's in mission three. Nothing on that side. Got lead scientist again, two wounds, coward, enhance. He's got a two defense. All right. You got this guy here who's another scientist, same thing. He tells you their specials over here. Extreme prejudice. Oh, maybe this is uh, the level of, maybe it's the level of uh, game that you're playing. Remember, if we remember in the rule book, it said, you know, you got level zero, one, two, and three. So maybe this is these character cards tell you what level character you're using them for. Okay. That makes sense to me now. All right. Uh, tracking bomber. All right. Campaign mission three, it says. Uh, shield bomber, no hands, overwhelmed scuttle. No guns, no knives, but six defense. Okay. Then let's see what we got here. Tracking bomber again for two, three, four, five, six. Again, six defense. Again, information there. All right. Experiment 601. Eight in hand to hand. Plus four to hit, maybe. Oof. And then six. Two wounds, scuttle. And two and three. Commissions two and three. Again, experiment 601. Mission four. Yeah, real overload, it says. All right. Experiment 6XX, 3 and 4. The Horde Meister, again, nothing. Six sharp teeth, probably, and defensive six. 
beat shield and overwhelm. Experience 6XX, again, 6 and 6, meat shield, the Horde Monster of Real Overload, Eichenberg's Gauntlet, 2 and 4, all right. It's a regular dog, it's an Armored Wolf, so we got a Mission 5, got a 5 for T, 5 for Defense, Fast, No Hand to Overwhelm, okay. Okay, got the dog again. So it's for missions one, two, three, four, five, six, and O'Reilly. All right. Yep. You've got zombies wandering around here now. Mission four, five, and seven defense. Meat shield, relentless, overwhelm. Okay. You got more zombies. Again, level four because you're stacked again. You've got your zombie here again. This is for two, three, four, five, six. O'Reilly Project, O'Reilly and Project X, and it's got all these on here too. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like this is telling you which level of fighting you're fighting him on. I think it changes based on which one you're doing. You've got the regular soldier here. It says campaign mission six, the wolf hunts. Four with a gun, plus two, plus two, four with a weapon. And he's got a four of a defense. Bodyguard dug in and guard, okay. And you got these little icons down here too for probably different tokens that you use for them. Again, soldiers the same again. Again, it's got all these things here again. You're gonna have to read the rule book to see. Again. So obviously a German officer. So these are all your villain cards, it appears so far. Four, three, three. Dug in in the guard. All right, got him. Another officer. Four, two, three, a little different. All right, good. Ah, now we got the good guys. Nope, oh, it says here. Right Busters HQ. Maybe you're collecting stuff there. Not sure what that card's used for. All right, that's for team play, obviously. This says here, Team Kestrel. Okay, cost of changing, a fail, a tail test. The stars got us. They do not bind us. Team Herschel members are the most elite operatives in the Reichbusters have to offer. Send them in when there is no room for failure. Team pool. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Team card here. This is Team Falcon. Team Falcon members may spend more than one action card when assisting other Team Falcon members in melee combat. Tells you where, where those things go in there. Maybe this is what you start off with a team pool. An elite swift and silent squad of infiltrators, their motto, Death from the Shadows, has been well earned in several arenas. Deploy this team when silence is the utmost important. Okay. Your team here, Team Vulture. Before the game begins, flip all Team Vulture weapons to their real weapon side. Okay. Allied scientists have studied real technology recovered by the Reichbusters, and now it's time to fight with fire with fire. This team is ready to conduct some field research and give their real meisters a taste of their own medicine. Beware, real can be fickle ally. All right. So, team here, Team Harrier. Once per round, when a Team Harrier member make, makes a ranged attack, another member of the team in the same area may spend one of their own action cards to also make a ranged attack against the same or different target. Bunch of stuff on there, forward with power. The team's model says everything you need to know about them. A group of bruisers who think that stealth is dirty word. Take this team when the brown sticky stuff is likely to hit the ground. Spinny thing really early. So these guys make a mess in other words. All right. Then this says raid objectives. All right. So this has a schedule for demolition setup, objective stores. So setup would be one demolition charge must be placed on each false objective item. Demolition charges are placed by using a give item action. Objective, the hero with the detonator objective item must escape the map after all demolition charges have been placed. Stores, three damage charges, one detonator uh, trackers. Okay. Okay, so that is scheduled to, for demolition. For raid, this is misinformation. Again, set up objectives, uh, stores, and trackers. Another raid mission here. So find the dossier, set up the same way. Get another raid objective. You've got here assassination to set up the objective and the trackers. Got it. 
Now we've got a raid map. Mission book page 23 uh, tells you which, okay, so it tells you the letter and the number of the tile that you use. That's good, that's very helpful. Okay, raid map, again, all of them are gonna be the same. Take me to the church. Yeah, so the first one was the final stage, take me to the church. These are the solo missions, right? Solo raids. I land down under. This is a map, it's a map time, right? Okay, these are all missions right here. And then you got raids. All right, and you got player aid cards. Okay, mission. Okay, mission one, Operation Fidget, tells you what you need to bring in with you. All right, cool. Mission two, Reich Man for the job, again, tells you who you're bringing with you. All right. Mission three, did, did not see that coming. Gotcha. Oof, that's a lot of stuff there. Mission four, Altering the Status Quo. This is mission five, The, the Cornered Wolf. And mission six, out with a bang. Yeah, so I'll see when you're starting off, not too hard. Look at one, <laughs> mission one to mission six. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. You have a lot, lot to fight. Yep. So I'll see the higher levels you go to, the higher, harder it becomes, obviously. Okay, then you got your raid faction cards. Brill experiment. Oof. Real Overload, wow. The Armored Wolf and the Wolf Hunt. Wow, 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 wow. That's a lot, a lot of stuff and a lot of characters. Okay. Okay. So we have our helpful hint cards for all four players. So we've got our tests that we have to take, your effects, your tokens, your weapon, weapon range, your wounds, and your drop item. Hero turn. Move, attack, search, ready, equipment, draw two cards, unlock, or recover. Heroes have two basic actions available each turn. They may also take free actions to play cards, use items, drop one item, and give one item to another player. Enemy turn. Raise the alarm. Action stations. Kill the intruders. Check the awareness. So it says raise the alarm, pre-alarm. If any enemy units are alert, advance the mission tracker by one. Post alarm, enemy units ignore this phase. Action stations, all alert enemy units on the map move. Do this in order listed on the mission's faction card. Kill the intruders, all alert enemy units that can attack do so. Do this in the order listed on the faction card. Check awareness, check to see if any heroes are in line of sight of enemy units. If necessary, raise the level of awareness. End of round phase. Once all heroes have had a turn and the enemy has had a turn after each hero, there is an end of round phase. Any player with fewer than five cards draws one, so you need to have six cards in your hand at all times. Advance the mission tracker by one round. Collect the turn order tokens ready for the next round. Okay, so it seems pretty straightforward. Again, there's a lot of icons in this game, man. A lot of icons. All right, then we have another deck of cards here. We're at 43 minutes and we haven't even gotten through the cards yet. All right. So it looks like every player might have their own. Yep. Looks like every character has their own deck of cards. So you got Sarge. Card bottom. You got Red Hawk. You got Quentin. Maybe some homage to Quentin Tarantino who did. You have Claudine. And you got Brick. Brick right there. And there he is. So, all right, let's go through one of these at a time. We'll start off with Sarge, who appears to be the leader. So you got your action deck, I'm assuming. So let's take a look here. All right, so this is going to have, yep, background information about Sarge, maybe a famous quote he has, whatever. And on this side, it will tell you. He's a squad leader, the type of weapon that he uses, and the type of fire side army he has. Okay. Again, gives you a bunch of information, background about who he is. Okay. 
Let's take a look here. It says, Bullet Magnet. If able, enemy units must attack you. You're plus two and resilient. I got this. Light them up. Keep it up. Listen up. Let's go. Here's the plan. Moving forward. Suppressing fire. Suck it up. Take them out. And pineapple and tactical. So these are your policy. One's probably for your offense and one's probably for your defense. That's what I'm figuring. And there you go. That's Sarge. Then we're going to jump to Claudine. We're going to have to look at Claudine again. Again, her background information, what she likes, what she dislikes. Flip this over. Then again, more information about her. She's Vengeance and what weapon she has there. So you got this one and the knife. Let's take a look here. She's got Angel of Death. Make a plus blank melee attack on each enemy unit in your area. She's a lady. Deja Vu in tactical. Uh, retaliate and, and again, advance. Viva la France and Vicious. Uh, Alon E and tactical. Hatred and advance. Resisting fighter and concentrate. Sacre Blue and tactical. Aggression and tough. Bloodlust and tough. Stick Grenade Tactical. And that's your information about Claudine. And there you go. There's a picture of her. Again, I really dig in the artwork. Very, very cool. And then we also have Quentin. And here's Quentin here. Let's start off with Quentin. Again, the background information. More background information about him. He's stealthy. And these are the two weapons that he uses. Okay. It looks like he's more hand-to-hand -hand than anything else. All right. Swift as an arrow. Move two. Make a plus two accurate ranged attack. Yep. Reign of death. Again, rule Britannia. Concentrate. God save the king. Vicious. Pip pip. Skill. What what? Advance. Chin chin. Tactical. Jolly good. Advance. Obviously he's British. By Jove. Advance. Smashing. Dig in. You rotta. Tactical. Good show. Tough. And that's your Brit on the team. Claudine is obviously French. Sarge is obviously an American. Then we have Red Hawk. Little lady. So she's got to say here. Again, background information here. Quotes that she is about her. And it tells you a little background about her. She's focused in the weapons that she uses. Okay. Covering fire, make a ranged attack on each enemy unit within range in one direction. If you fail to wound any targeted unit, covering fire ends. So then you go to bird of prey. You go to assassin and concentrate. Headshot or tactical. I'm assuming that during your turn you make a choice which, which one you're going to use. Or the top might be for your offense and this might be for your defense. Not sure. Quick fire, vicious. Shadow and sneak. This is pathfinder and deadly. Scout ahead and deadly. Clear the way and concentrate. Do Sidvania. Tactical. Oh, so she's Russian. Vodka fueled sneak. Yep. And seeing red and deadly. And that is, guess why they call her Red Hawk? Because she's a Russian. Got it. And last but not least, we have Brick. Again, a little bit of background information about him. And then again, again, a little bit here. Strong and the tip of weapon, typical weapons. He says, so let's just read this real quick. It says, brick power packs the most powerful arsenal of weapons of all the weapons of all the Reich busters and is fully capable of clearing a room or blowing apart a real panzer in equal measure. He'll never be the quietest combatant, but with his action cards providing plenty of special results, he's surprisingly good at supporting his fellow team when not unleashing hell. Let's see what it says here. He's big, he's dangerous, and he's not smart enough to understand fear. Brick is tough to hurt and strong enough to carry company support weapons as personal sidearms. This makes him exactly the ox you need when there are rooms of Nazis to clear. Yarg! All right, and there's your character, Brick. And there's his cards. Double Trouble. 
draw two, make a plus one attack with each of your weapons. Of course, like a brick wall, arg, tactical, ratatata, tough, brickhead, tough, jeroff, advance, come ear you, dig in, ratatata, tactical, ha ha ha, dig in, grunt, concentrate, unstoppable, tactical, charge, and tactical. And there you go, that's that card for brick. Then we have this deck of cards. So we're almost at 50 minutes now. Again, I do this is gonna be a little bit of a longer one. Got these cards here. Now it says scientist desk. Oh. Covered corpses. Real containers. Okay. Cages. Stage curtains, church altar. Well, maybe these are things that you're going to find. Covered object, office desk, packing crates. Maybe this is what you find when you search. Okay, so that's cool. It says dog cage. Heroes in this era roll two at the end of their turn. So two white dice, I'm assuming. At the end of their turn, you may use a blank in this area to uh, this feature. All right. Lots of cover, lots of cover. Supply cache, secret passage, munitions cache, comm station, real schematics, enemy debriefing, secret passage, enemy debriefing, patrol schedule, real forge, unstable real pool, or unstable real pool. Sorry about that. Stable real pool. Brill experiment, Brill experiment, stable Brill pool, praise the Lord, divine intervention, secret passage, great acoustics, encore, live performance, empty cages, empty cages, Brill remains, dog cage, contraband, dog cage, Brill resupply, Brill technology, Brill gas leak, Brill transformer, Brill transformer, experiment, unused supplies, Unused supplies, dead man's boots, unused supplies, corpse cart, corpse cart, vril workstation, maintenance table, mysterious liquid, vril cash, vril workstation, and vril research. So that's all good stuff right there. So when you're searching, you're going to use those cards. Okay, that makes sense to me. And as we continue to move forward, We've got all kinds of these cards as well. So that's one type. Then you got your spawning cards. Then you got your sound cards. I'm assuming these are alarm cards. I'm assuming those are alarm. This looks like it's ultra alarm. So probably these are action cards. What happens when this happens? So let's take a look at that first. All right, so smash, reroll, one non, this. All right, crash, thud, clunk, thump, arg, get out, take cover, get down, behind you, look out. Uh-oh, it says discard two cards or add two to your total. Looks like there's a 10. It says, Oskang exit, nearest J. Not sure what that means, but that's that card there. Then you have this card, these cards here. Snafu, no effect. Make the uh, nearest non-suspicious room suspicious. Close call. Noisy. Expletive. Reroll one. Scraping sound. Wasted time. Muffed it. Too loud. Oops. Softly does it. Noise carries. And catastrophe. Then you have your spawn cards. Tells you what type of troops you probably, tells you what to get, yep. Okay. Different tokens, we saw those tokens earlier when we looked up here, we had lots of these tokens, so spawn. All right, obviously this is what's gonna control how many troops come out. 
what you're spawning during each round of play. So it's going to tell you which type it is, B, B, J, C, C, E, A, F, F. So also you need to know what those are. Okay, so those are spawning cards. Very cool. And then, of course, you also get these cards here, which I'm not sure what these are, but it looks like not a door, but it looks like there's bullet holes, obviously, and huge scratches and scrapes on the door and blood all over the place. So let's see. Hit in the gut, no effect. At the start of your turn, draw a wound card and resolve the top effect only, then discard it. In the neck, glancing hit, bleeding arm, torn shoulder. So maybe this is if you, this is a, what's it called? If you hit a critical or something like that, sprained wrist or, or, or failure. Shaken, slow response, injured arm, limp, slow reaction, twisted ankle, blurred vision. So this, these are wound cards. Pulled senses, staggered, messed up, sprained ankle, in bad shape, and intense pain. There you go, that's those cards there. And last but not least, we move on to the boxes of figures that also are included in this box set. And there are a tremendous number of them in the box. I'm not going to pull them off. I'm going to show you one at a time. You've got your zombies. Really, really high detail figures. Extremely high detail. That's what really attracted me to uh, jumping in on this Kickstarter was the fact of how awesome the figures looked. So that's your zombies. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. You get scientists. You get three of those. You get one, two, three, four of this guy. Guy with a big hammer and a shield. Get four of them. And you get one, two, three, four of this guy. Which has got these huge blades coming at him. Blade coming off the tail. Wow. Incredible sculpt. Really, really cool. So, obviously, these are German soldiers that have been experimented on. And that's the key you got here. So, the Project Brill. So, you get four of those, and you get four of these little guys, too. They look like little spiders. But you get four of them. And as I said, that's what we said. You get eight of those up top there. You get three scientists. You get four of the guys with the shields. You get four of the guys with, uh, with the different armaments on them. And you get four of the little spider-looking creatures. Looks like you get four of the leader guy. These are your commandants. German officers. You get four of those. You get four guys with their real heavy artillery here. Big machine guns. Again, the sculpts are fantastic. Perfect for a weird War II type of battle like this. You get four dogs. This guy here looks like this. I think these are the dogs. I think these are the, not dogs. I forget what they were called. I'll see. Yeah, experimented on. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you get eight of these. You get eight of those. Okay. Again, you get four of these. You get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of these. So these are your traditional German soldier. Right? You get 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, 16 of them. Again, really, really cool sculpt. Outstanding. So yeah, those are all the ones I just showed you. And you get this little tray that goes on top to protect them. And you get this one that goes on top of that like so. So there's all the figures that we just talked about so far. And they go into this box here. It says core box one of two. Put that to the side. And you get core box one of one. So that's that's one of two, and this is one of one. Okay, so the first thing you get our player boards. Your tokens go in here. So they're nice, they're dug in, so you can put your card here. So like you get this. So it stays, you know, sorry. So it stays nice and cleanly in there. What weapon you're using, the different power points you have here, and any gear that you pick up on your way. So that's that's a really nice. Also got the title of the game on there. Obviously there's nothing important on the back, but again, it looks really, really nice. And holds everything in place pretty nice. And I'm assuming when you look at this card here, these would be your two starting weapons here. These two here, and this would be your first one that goes up there. Okay, so there you go. So you get four of these. You get, let's see, these are now your, your heroes. So you get the sniper. Again, I don't remember all their names. This is the Russian. Very, very cool figure. That's another one of your heroes. So you got two heroes. Your third hero. Now these guys are not your normal 28 millimeter figures. These are, I think they're a little larger. They're more epic scale. So if I get just a typical figure from another box set, you can see that they're a little bit larger, a little chunkier. And if I take one of the German soldiers, I'll put it next to it as well. They're just, the bases are a little larger, as you can tell. So maybe these are 20, 25 or 20 millimeter, and these guys would be a little bit larger. Maybe they'd be, I'm going to say they're about 32, because the bases are, as you can tell, a lot larger. So I'm going to say they're probably 32 mil. I'm going to put that one back in there, because we're not there yet. Again, show this guy again real quick. Another one of our heroes. Another hero. Don't remember who he is. Don't remember if we had any cards from him. Don't remember. And there's Brick right there. Our man Brick. Bringing the hurt with him. And last but not least, I believe this is your Sarge. Ready to... I guess it's... Is that a cigar in his mouth? I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. There you go. There you go. Trim that off. The bases are beautiful. Again, these are really, really high quality miniatures. Very, very cool. Excellent looking. And then we move on to the German ones. Again, you got another scientist here. You have another German here. 
I think she's the leader of the Germans for the, the scenarios. Hers was the first card we looked at. So I'm assuming she's the boss of this box game. Base, you know, base game. You get a couple more of these zombies in there. So you get two more of those. So you get a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you get a total of 12 of these in the, in the core set. You get this guy here. Which that is a fantastic sculpt. Really, really top notch. And then you get the big boy, which is just massive. And this is the big guy you gotta fight at the end, the dreadnought. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is an amazing looking sculpt. I'll put this sculpt up against anything that we've seen in any of the unboxings that I've done. There's over 520 some odd unboxings on here. By the time we probably post this one, it'll be closer to 600. So again, that is an absolute gorgeous sculpt. The detail is incredible on this figure, as are on all the figures. So he goes back in here, like, it goes this way. figure back in the right way to make sure it fits perfectly into the box. Okay, we'll fix that. This goes back on top of here like so. And then this goes back in here like... Of course, once you take it out, you know it never fits back exactly right in the box, as you know. Anyway, we got some more figures here. So everything that we show, that's everything that you see in front of you. Of course, you get this box as well. So he, keep the figures in, and you get this box as well. Keep the figures in. But this is everything that's included and concludes our unboxing of Reichbusters Project Brill. This is the core base game. And there you have it. And it's brought to you by mythic games as always thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video which truly appreciate it if you enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up and you can always leave a comment below also don't forget to hit that subscribe button this way you're kept up to date as to any time we release any new content to the page as always thank you so much for joining us be safe be well enjoy the remainder of your day and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video